one Luca Merce Prime here so it's time for the next episode of movie that didn't need a sequel and in today's video I'm going to cover this time an example of an animated film which in my opinion did not need a sequel and I personally think it was better off on its own and I say this because personally I'm not a fan of this film and I personally think it, it wasn't good enough to warrant becoming a franchise with sequels and this is a film which is also by one of my favourite animation companies of all time as well, which is pretty sad for me to say really, because I love many of the films by this company, and it's a company that I do trust pretty well today. And this one, of course, which I personally did not need a sequel, is I was on the 16s, The Secret Life of Pets. So, if you guys want to ask me what do I think of this movie, well, personally I think it's just okay at best really. I don't think it's a masterpiece by any means or a good film, really. I just think it's okay, really. I'm not really a fan of it, to be honest. Mainly because I feel like it was pretty boring and the characters in the film just didn't really interest me very much. And I wasn't really a fan of it. And it also felt, in my opinion, like a rehash of Toy Story just for pets instead of toys, really. So that didn't really work for me, to be honest. I guess the good quarter I could say is the, the voice cast did the best and I guess also as well the animation was also fine too as well. But to be honest though I'm not really a fan of the film that much. And in terms of why I think it did not need sequels simply because not only do I think it wasn't good enough to set up becoming a, a franchise but also because at the end of the film I didn't see any sign of sequel baiting because the film of course has an ending where the pets return home and, and embrace their owners. And the two main characters, Max and Duke, reunite with their owner, Katie. So, so right there, I, I saw an ending with, with, with no sequel baiting whatsoever. So, as far as I'm concerned, this film did not deserve to become a, a, a film um, um, franchise with sequels. Because, personally, it, I don't think it was good enough to set up any, and it didn't even set up any of it in the ending either. However, unfortunately, we did sadly get a sequel released in 2019 and this of course was none other than the secret life of pets 2 and i personally was not a fan of this film to be honest i think it was it, it was in my opinion a lot weaker than the first movie for several reasons so i feel like my problems with the first film continued on with this movie really to be honest i was just not a fan of it once again and I feel like in this film, they had way too many characters in this, to be honest. And that didn't work for me, because I feel like they didn't, did not focus on the main characters. They instead made it have way too many characters to focus on with, with loads of stories. So, if I really got on my nerves, really, how there was like about three stories in this. Like, I couldn't process what story it was trying to tell. It was very confusing, in my opinion. And it was just pretty strange, really what we were thinking with this and if you guys just ask me who what my favorite part of the film is though it is most definitely harrison ford in this in his first ever animated film role as a character rooster because i think he did a great job watching rooster i just wish he had more scenes or to be honest because because in my opinion he was the best part of the film and i would have loved it if he had more screen time uh, yeah, but for what it is worth, though, he was the best part of the film. And definitely the, the one part that I was most focused in watching. Because for watching the film, I was pretty bored and clueless about what story was trying to tell. But whenever Harrison Ford's character appeared, I was all in watching his scenes. Because he was entertaining, in my opinion, and pretty funny, I must say, too. Har Harrison Ford did a great job voicing Rooster. To me, he was the best part of the film. But all I can say, though, is that this sequel was, was not good, in my opinion. And... In my opinion, weaker than the first movie. But it's not so much because I'm not a fan of the first one anyway, really. The first one to me is simply just Toy Story with pets instead of toys, really. But I might as well just call it Pet Story instead. Would it make a difference? And despite this film getting mixed reviews from critics, and for me, I'd personally give it a probably a negative review because I'm not a fan of this movie. Somehow, we're getting a third film in development. Which I'm very disappointed about. Because... Chris Mal Malandandri, who produced the film, confirmed in an interview that, unfortunately, we are getting a third film in development. But what I will say, guys, is that because this second film was just not good, in my opinion, and, and like I've also said, I personally don't care about, about this first film either. I don't think it deserves to become a, a franchise, because in my opinion, it was good enough to, to warrant becoming a franchise. 
I will not be watching a third movie. I am not interested whatsoever in, in seeing it. I mean, it's probably not going to be good anyway. It could be even worse than a second film. Who knows, really? But I personally don't care. I'm not going to watch it, to be honest. I'm going to stick to watching Illumination's good films. One day I will post a review for this first movie. And probably as well, a, a negative review for a sequel as well. And that's going to be about it, really. Once I've done more reviews, I can then sell this film. Because, because like I said, I'm personally not a fan of it. So that's what I'll say. And I'll stick to the actually good films by Illumination, which I love. For example, the first two typical Me films and Rise of Gru, and also Mario as well. And there's also probably other two as well by the company that, that are also good too as well, which I'm going to check out as well. Hope they'll be, be really good as well. So, anyway guys, uh, this is me of course um, doing an next episode movie didn't need a sequel, saying why in my opinion, the sequel Life of Pet is an example of an anim animated film that did not need sequels. So, you know the drill, guys. Be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to leave some comments. What you guys think of Secret Life of Pets? Do you need a sequel or not? Comment below what you think. Also, be sure to join Team Fanboy Press and subscribe to the future. And I'll see you all later.